Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. I am Dr. Waris. Welcome you all in healthcare with Dr. Waris. Today, the topic I have chosen for you is tuberculosis. It is a disease of uh, lungs mainly, and uh, it's also spread uh, to, to abdomen and bones and uh, skin as well. And uh, so, it, it is a very treatable disease and uh, very common and uh, communicable disease uh, where there is a, a low uh, cleanliness in their uh, atmosphere that's why it's caused by mycobacterium tuberculosis and uh, it's uh, occur due to a hugely um, populated and uh, not uh, very clean areas it's uh, that uh, bacteria uh, survive so Whenever first time this patient comes with us, it is presenting with the cough more than two weeks and a fever, a persistent fever, and in night time sweating and losing losing their weight and fatigue. So there are some tests we were performed and to. Uh, detect that it is by the tuberculosis or not. These are AFB, sputum AFB, and uh, three times uh, sputum AFB will be checked, and then we also uh, do their X rays of uh, chest, and so then we will, if it, it will be demarcated and uh, denoted that it is uh, uh, positive cases. So we will start their anti-tuberculosis therapy which is for at least eight to nine months. Yet the uh, therapy total continues in after eight to nine months and, and that uh, in the, there is an initial phase that is called the intensive phase where we will use uh, four drug therapy uh, and these therapies are according to body weight and uh, uh, these are, t are usually taken before breakfast and then it can be absorbed very quickly in the stomach and, and to go in the target cells and body. You will uh, take these drugs on empty stomach before breakfast, they, uh, they can absorb quickly in the system and uh, so uh, we will not uh, even uh, take so many gaps. We have not to do any gap between the treatments. If there is interruption in the treatment, then it will cause a treatment failure and then we will take it for so many years and so it will develop a resistance of these tuberculosis and then we have to choose a second line therapy as well, which is very, very difficult to treat. It is a highly contagious disease. It can spread from one person to another and so by sneezing, by coughing and by using the same kind of utensils. So it, we will to keep safe from that. We cannot use the same items of that. It can spread quickly to other persons. It is all about uh, tuberculosis disease. We will let inshallah next time will be with uh, another video. Take care Allah Hafiz.